Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to y'all the Bullet Hell build. And hey man, if you enjoy the casts on this channel and you want to help me keep on doing what I'm doing, then the best way you can support me is by clicking on the promo link down below at the top of the video description. Sign up to Raid. It's completely free. It takes 60 seconds and it helps to support me massively. Thanks so, so much to anybody who does decide to do that. All right. Let's get this on the road, shall we, boys? We have, of course, here playing some quick supply specialist, starting off with the old quad Mustang dropping. Oh, God, it's going to go horrifically, horrifically badly, but it's not the point, man. I'm not too worried about how the first round goes, okay? As long as we just get a little smidgen of supply, then I'm happy enough. Oh, my God, we die so quickly. It's just humiliating. <laughs> but okay, man. As you can tell, I've already committed to one meme strategy in this game, and that is going to be the bullet hell style build, of which only ashes remain right now, but I swear it's going to come good, okay? Basically, typhoons, mustangs, or just mustangs. Every upgrade, turn them into a crazy, crazy carry unit. Then I'm probably going to try and use the sandworm as like a tank unit, right? I built up my sandworms and tweaked their tech a little bit so that they're going to focus on using sandstorm and the armor upgrade, right? And hopefully just like a couple of sandworms on each side, decent amount of levels on them. This is all just the dream, by the way. Hasn't actually happened yet, obviously. But uh, yeah, that's the plan. Just like a sandworm tank, creating sandstorms, dust devils, and just giving good cover uh, for these tanks. Let's see how... That's the theory. Let's see how it actually works in practice, man. Okay. Looks like the AI wins the opening round, which is great. All right. Now we're up against nerds and geeks. And sadly, no typhoons available here on the first uh, round of pickups. I guess for that reason, maybe the melting point is just fine. Melting point can help us out if, uh, if we take the lead in future rounds. So I guess I could just go ahead and just do something like that. Just plop it in right here. Maybe a little further back. No, I think he is fine. Kill this guy off nice and quick. Um, hmm. You know, I mean, let's just full send, dude. Let's just do that, okay? I kind of just want to get this guy dead quick. Then again, I can almost feel like this guy is an even bigger threat on this side. So maybe just wipe out the crawlers here with the missile and stuff. Let's do something like that. Okay. Let's try this, man. Let's try this. I'm hoping the missile over here is just gonna BAM take out a whole lot of the crawlers on that side. And oh good. It looks like we might do relatively okay now. There's just one act light left that threatens our very existence and all that we stand for. And so as long as we take out that nerd, we should be basically good to go. Okay, man. Oh my god, these crawlers are chewing through is like crazy, dude. Okay. Nice, at least the stangs on the right side got a good amount done. We might even be able to get a building kill over here, which is sweet. Huge army of nerds coming in from yellow side. Damn, dude. That guy's bringing the cavalry, actually. He went for the tanks, he went for the archies. Okay. Don't know that my melting point has the damage to get these guys dead in time. It's even taken us a long, long time to get the building dead, actually, which is kind of making me a bit nervous. Yeah, the phoenix is just doing too much damage over here. I'm going to bring down the melting point, but at least we do get one building. Okay, so it's not a complete disaster. That's all we care about right now. And the AI wins once again. Alrighty, alrighty. We got some levels. That's all that matters. Uh, mass produce fortress, mobile beacon. Mobile beacon number two could be fine. I think it's always worth just grabbing the mobile beacons anyway. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And hey man, if you're enjoying the memes and you want to see more videos like this one, the best possible way you can support me blasting videos on this channel is by supporting me in my day job, which is actually running a Raid Shadow Legends YouTube channel. But the best possible way you can support me is by clicking on the promo link down below at the top of the video description box. Click on that link, sign up to Raid, take 60 seconds, it's completely free, and it helps to support me massively. You'll also start a new raid account with a free epic champion, as well as helping me to stay full time here on YouTube, which means more Mecha Bellum videos. Let's get back to the cast, man. I just like to get these missiles set up nice and early in free for all, man, because you never know, right? Okay. Good. Found the experience, my children. We have backup chaff arriving. Very good. Very good. Nice. Now the levels are starting to come in. This is what I'm talking about, man. Very nice. Might even get some level 3 stangs on this right side as well. Dude, I love this new map. By the way, it's so good. It's just a shame that in Free For All you have to have your graphics turned all the way down. Or else your computer turns into a goddamn nuclear reactor. Um, 
Oh, nice. We even got to get the middle tower as well. I tell you what, this is the advantage, by the way, of the bullet hell build, as I'm calling it, which is just mass stangs and typhoons if you can get them uh, with just like mass upgrades. It does very, very well for farming cash uh, in the early rounds. The AI did kind of screw us in the first couple of rounds uh, by picking up many, many copies of uh, Acolytes. <laughs> so we kind of got stomped in the first couple of rounds, but I swear... Generally speaking, when I've been trying this strat out, I usually, I tend to finish second place when I uh, employ this strat, and it's from getting that early lead and just a huge, huge supply lead. Look at how much supply we earned in this last round, dude. 5 4 2? Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. And we got levels across a lot of the stangs as well, which is obviously fantastic. Uh, melting points, descent. Tank production line, I think, is just very, very excellent for value overall. Um, because there's no, like, cap on how many times you can spawn the tank. So you just put on a nice slow giant unit and have a good time. Now we just get to mass upgrade on all of the stangs. And I think we also just recruit a whole lot more as well. Do I want to keep them all in the middle is now the question. To keep them all in the middle, it lets us redeploy with Mobile Beacon much, much more easily in future rounds. Um, so if we need to jump ship, uh, we can totally do that. Hmm. It's a little bit dicey, though. You get more firepower if you go this way, right? Could just go something like this as well. So that we stay, like, somewhat bunched up. Let's just do something like this. Okay, we also pick up the armor as well. I think I'm pretty pleased with that. Missile, let's cover this side. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. So the Acolytes are getting pretty strong over on this side. No tech upgrades on them just yet, though. Okay, so just some sheer firepower and numbers of these uh, very, very rapidly leveling stangs. We're just going to make extremely short work of the AI now, which is great. We're also going to buzz our way through all of the phoenixes here, which is just a glorious amount of supply coming in. Look at all that. Then hopefully we can just steal both of these buildings again. Yes. Yes, dude. Look at the money. The middle one is just ours for the taking as well. Very, very good. We've got someone here going like a goddamn uh, wasp swarm slash overlord style build. He's already gone into shields uh, on his wasps over here. Is quite questionable. Do we get to steal this as well? No, we do not. Absolute sons of guns. Then again, we've nearly got like 500 supply all over again, man. So that's pretty nice. Okay, let's speed things up. We're about to get wiped out over here. Same story over here, really. Okay. Oh, wow, we get the Overlord kill, though. That's uh, almost guaranteed another level there. I'm just trying to power level the hell out of the Stangs. Hopefully we can pick up like some laser sights. Um, maybe some amp core. Firepower control, that kind of thing. I think that's going to help us out a lot, too. Okay. And I'm totally fine in the lead. That's totally fine with uh, with us, man. Nice. Look at all of the levels, bro. Oh, my God. And the game just gives us double sandworm. Oh, my God. That is good. That is real good. Whoa, man. Uh, do I want to give them armor immediately? Because they're just going to die this opening round here. They're actually against very, very bad matchups. Uh, against the AI here, but look at all the upgrades on these goddamn stangs, dude. The bullet hell build, I'm telling you, boys. Swear by it. In fact, let's just give them the plus damage right away. Because why the heck not? Um, These are some very, very high level crawlers, actually. I'm glad that I checked the levels on these. Nines, okay. So we just need one missile to kill off the nine here. Um, Do I want to go into armor right away? I think underground maintenance might be better. Hmm. Because the armor's not going to help us against the balls at all. I, I I need to go into one of those. I just need to make my mind up. Okay. What we will do is just uh, some more backline crawlers for now, actually. Get these guys up hither and thither. Um, I guess I'll just go into the armor, I suppose. I think the armor's fine. It's not bad. Screw it. Let's missile down a lot of these crawlers. These crawlers are going to create a big, big problem for us. I don't want to invest in uh, high explosive ammo on the stangs. At least not yet. Can this guy dive underground? No, he explodes horribly. Okay, so we lose one of the nerds right away. 
Which sucks a little, but look at the damage on these stangs now, dude. With that ammo piercing rounds. Oh my god. They utterly shred the war factory. Buildings are both ours once again. They should probably be using a mobile beacon to send some of them to the middle, to be honest, just to guarantee that. But we're going to steal some damn experience over here as well. This side? Oi, 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 oi. Wasps my ass, dude. I call them an experience farm. Look at the levels on these stangs now. They can all basically level again. Very, very good. Our level 4 stangs are going to be able to hit level 5 next round. Very nice. It's also going to be a similar story over here. Just absolutely clapping all kinds of cheeks. We have some tanks that have broke off and are hitting the middle building right now. Look at our money, dude. Look at our supply. I mean, oh my god, dude. We are so rich. Ridiculous. In fact, I just killed a couple of big units there and that middle tower and I didn't even get any money. Am I like capped or something? Is there like, is there, is there like a cap on how much uh, cash you can earn here? Maybe. This is too many missiles for my uh, my poo poo melting point to take out, sadly. Explosive damage, uh, stormies and all. I feel like I could have earned like 700 supply there. But I feel like maybe there's a cap or something. I'm not actually sure about that. Um, extended stormy range. I mean, this is good for the firepower control, man. Let's put on our biggest boy. Definitely going to get levels on the sandworms whenever I can because uh, I want their armor to scale up. Let's just mass upgrade over here. And then do we want to go for the heal? Um, do we want to go for the heal, man? Hmm. Um, I think that we go for an additional melting point here. Maybe just slot it in like this way. Maybe in a little bit further back. I think that's just fine. I don't particularly want to spend anything else here. I mean, we can just bank the supply. I think that that's fine. So yeah, we're definitely going to lose the uh, sandworm over here, but that's okay. He's already got himself a level. I'm more just hoping that the guy on this side now can uh, get something done. Once again, I forgot to use the mobile beacon, which kind of sucks. But at the same time, somebody else spawned in a rhino and uh, stole that anyways. Uh, stole the middle tower. Okay, go Sandworm, go! We're still getting all kinds of buildings. The amount of money we're earning is just unbelievable. Hopefully the Sandworm can get a big amount of assisted experience over here. And pick up a level from killing this. There it is. Level 2, feeling good. Well, these wasps are very, very strong. So we are going to need anti-air on the stangs, right? I mean, the sandworm's tanking up as best he can, but these are just some very, very high-level wasps at this stage uh, to be dealing with. That's it. Look at how many stangs we still have left, man. Kind of crazy. So the plan, by the way, is to eventually go uh, more melting points, range, and then crawler production uh, on these guys, just to give us an answer against the stormcaller spam over here a bit later on. Like, crawler production will be quite helpful uh, against that. Okay. As it stands right now, though, just getting sandwiched. Alrighty. That's a lot of victory points for Redman. Okay. Let's see what we got here. The Hacker. The Typhoons do become available at level 3. You know, I think I'll pick those up, actually. Uh, we are going to grab all the upgrades on these nerds. You know, we could just go uh, the anti-air on the Typhoons instead. That's something that we could do. I think I quite like that, actually. And then we just mass recruit. Pick up a couple more packs of Typhoons. Grab an upgrade over here. Ooh. Almost missed the upgrade on the Sandworm. Of course we're going to do that. And okay. Something like this. I think that that's how we do it, man. The bullet hell build is all coming together, boys. All right. Uh, this time I will remember to take just... I just want to catch a couple of the stangs, really. I don't really want to grab the melting point in this. Uh, take some of the stangs from the back over here, I guess. I just want to make sure that some of them go towards middle and just get that taken, you know? Okay. Maybe have these guys just took in a little bit as well, just to sort of bring us all into center a little. 
Okay, this guy has what's looking to be potentially an immortal tank blob. Oh, he doesn't have damage sharing though on this uh, left side. So we shouldn't be too worried about the tank blob over here. Okay. Both buildings go down. My stangs are rushing to the middle over here. Just a little pack of them. Just to grab that middle building. Okay, now the anti-air typhoons, particularly on this side, should be giving us a pretty huge advantage over here against these wasps now. Just creating all kinds of problems for this guy. Very, very good. Also, the worm is doing a very, very good job of sort of just delaying those guys from actually getting the engage. Huge, huge deal. This side against the tank blob, yeah. We're just not going to fare so well. Not a massive amount we can do about that, but I think we did also get the middle building again there. 684 supply, dude, we've earned. Oh my god, dude. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. So we might actually have to go range enhancement and energy diffraction on the melting points against the tank wall over here. That might be what we have to do. Because uh, normally what I do to kill uh, giant units and tanky units would be just mass missiles on the Typhoons. And they can kind of deal with it if you buy enough of them. But uh, I don't think they'd have what it takes against that many tanks. This is too many, like, individual entities, you know? Um, we could just nuke them. That's also an option, right? <laughs> we could just nuke the hell out of them. I mean, we have the supply to spare. It would also be pretty hilarious. Yeah, let's just nuke him, man. <laughs> Wait a minute, he is yellow, right? Yeah, he is. Let's, let's just deny him here, dude. Let's just hard deny this guy. Plop the nuke, like, right here. Should clip a lot of the phoenixes as well, I think. Maybe just a little further back. There you go. I think, that, I think that that's good, man. I think that's real good. Okay. Let's upgrade all of these. Range and diffraction. I shouldn't need it this, this round exactly, so I won't rush into those upgrades, uh, to be fair. I will upgrade all of these nerds. We'll pick a barrier over here. And upgrades on these guys are totally worth it. Um, do we just want to grab another melting point for now? Just a second melter. I don't think that we need it on this side. I think that we fine over here. Uh... Hmm. Let's set ourselves up for future rounds. Let's do this and maybe some stangs all the way back here that later on we can like swing around with on like a super long flank potentially. I'll just have them here. I think that's also fine. Uh, okay. Oof. Got that in just at the end. Ooh, he's gonna nuke us. Okay. Well, I don't care so much about that. I just want to keep an eye. Oh my god, look at this tank wall over here, dude. Look at the tank blob. And we're not gonna hit any of the sandworms either. How sad for him. Are we gonna block everything? The sandworm dives just in time to not get hit. We wipe out all of this guy's tanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say that we won that little nuke battle, boys. It's pretty good. Okay, I'll leave the camera like this, actually. There's a lot for us to keep track of over here now. Okay, so the extra pack of Typhoons on this side, I'm hoping are going to get it done. We've got to get these big fire boys down before they connect, which we do. And then we're just absolutely going to bullet hell down these guys. Look at how quickly they melt. Oh my god, very, very good indeed. And without the tank blob over here, can't really do a whole lot to us uh, on that left side. Uh, we have got to check out the experimental units, though. These guys are rough. We do have range on the melting points now, but they got to connect quickly because these guys are just going to submerge again. Ah, oh, they didn't connect quick enough. We are so screwed. Okay, so all we've got left is just a little pocket of stangs left alive over here now. We are going to get the building dead and nerf these guys. So that's good news for us. But yeah, these experimental units are just going to annihilate everybody. Oi, 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 oi. All right. Our little pocket of stangs and typhoons is coming in for the backstab, boys. These sandworms are going to die on their own anyway. So I'm not super worried about those. Oh, Get him dead, get him dead. There's not much left to distract him. I think we're actually going to get to take a round win here. Uh, pretty comfortably, even. Very nice. Okay, boys, we're sneaking up on them, man. We're back in the running. We are back in the running. Very nice. Uh, the scorpions, honestly, could be very, very good against the tank wall on the left. 
they could be really quite excellent, couldn't they? I think that we're going to have to diverge a little bit from our ridiculous bullet hell strategy. Not that I'm not going to pick up all these upgrades again, because I am, obviously, but... Uh, yeah, I think that we're probably going to need these guys over here. Um, they're probably also going to need range and acid. So we'll go ahead and grab those. Going to start hitting the range button now as well. Um... Okay. Okay. Let's just grab a little bit of crawler action over here. Want those guys to arrive a little on the late side. Upgrades, borrow money, upgrades. I think that's fine. Do I show my hand with this player yet? I don't think so, right? I think we just wait that out. And I'm not going to bother rushing down the middle tower anymore. I kind of want to keep all my guys together. Okay. Of course the experimental units have EMP fire. Disabling this guy's war factory right away. Dude, we also went into the Scorpion on the same turn. He went into uh, war factory. Oh my god. Are we landing the acid shots right away over there on that side? War factory's coming out all over the place, actually. So we're fighting on two horrific, horrific fronts just now. That's sort of terrifying. I also hate how we've got aggro on these guys. See, this is why like a bullet hell build like this, as we've taken to calling it. Gets a little bit rough later on, because your army has such high move speed that you kind of just run in um, and end up aggroing everything. You know what I'm saying? Wow, this guy just has 10,000 phoenixes, man. They do also have rebirth, but bro, we're going to kill those off very, very fast indeed as soon as we start connecting, which we are. We're also killing the war factory over on this side, so that's grand, but I want to kind of focus on this just now. Got to get these guys dead fat. No, we're being totally distracted over here, man. Oh, we're being totally distracted on that side. That's not good. That's not good at all. Thankfully, we have a little pod of units left alive over here. Which is going to be doing a great old job for us. We're also burning down the big melting point here. Which is awesome. So these guys are going to be low on revives by the time they get to us. I only hope that they collide with these wasps before my guys get over there and engage here. Our guys are coming in hot though. I need these wasps to kill as many phoenixes as possible. Oh, we're starting to engage. That's not good. Okay. All right, not the worst. Oh, God, there's a worm. Okay, and I just exploded for some reason. Oh, but there's another one, dudes. Oh, this isn't good. Get it, dude. Get it, dude. Get it, dude. This is gnarly, man. I don't like this at all. Go, Stangs. Tank for the typhoons. Oh. Oh, we don't have enough. We don't have enough. God damn it, dude! Okay, we've only got to steal it from him though on the last round now. Oh, wait a minute. I'm in the lead? Why am I winning? That's not good. Oh, crap. Oh, God. That's so good. This is really bad for us. This is really, really bad for us. Um, at least I can ion blast here, I guess. Oh, man. The experimental Vulcan is gonna absolutely wreck us here, dudes. This is not gonna be pretty. Can I just do, like, a mass runaway strategy? Maybe I can do that? Three mobile beacons? I think I can just do a run for my life strat here. Uh, which looks something like this. Just get all the way back, just just leg it. Just actually run away, That is, that is the, that's, that's the strat right now, you know? Take all of these guys. Get an up over to here. Oh god, man. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Let me upgrade building health by a crap load. Or or cash, all this stuff. Um, I guess I'm also just gonna beam here. And just see how many of these guys I can take out. Like this kind of direction, maybe. Okay. So we borrowed money. We Let's take the move speed now as well, I suppose. Upgrades on these guys. Okay, I don't know about all this, man. I don't know about this. This 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 doesn't feel so good. Um. Oh god. Okay. Oh, d just run away, everybody. Run. <laughs> Fall back. Nice. Our iron blast though is completely owning. Apparently, a couple people are trying to take us out of the game here. Which is a little bit how gnarly of them. You know what I'm saying? 
We'll get everybody out of the way. Sadly, those sandworms are the sacrifice the island demanded. Our beam is getting so much damage done over here on this side. Now, we actually ping out some of the phoenixes as well, which is great. But now we can't really run away any further. But at least we're letting everybody else have to deal with the experimental units for us. We kept, like, what, 70% of our army alive? That's not too bad. That's not terrible. Gotta get these barriers caught up to the stangs as quick as possible. There it is. Comes in now. And we did keep both scorpions alive. That's actually a big, big deal. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes! Our anti-air army is absolutely shredding these guys. So that's awesome. We've got a little bit of acid on the ground there that I'm a bit nervous about. But now we've got to take out these big boys and they are reviving like crazy. Ooh, the scorpions. Oh, they're pushing too far in. No, they pushed too far in. Oh, I don't know if we can hold on to this. I don't know if we can hold on to this, man. We're getting a lot of damage done, but it's just too many reviving phoenixes. And moreover, the tanks are going to absolutely... They're going to do a crazy amount of work. We do get to latch on the big war factory, though. I don't know what's to the north on the battlefield right now as well. I've also got to point that out. Nice, we get the burn on the war factory. That's great. Oh, there's like nothing left. Oh, hang on. Can green just randomly win this? I guess it doesn't matter now though, right? I guess it doesn't matter now because yellow got too many AI kills. Oh, god damn it, dude. Well, you know what? Well played from yellow, man. Well played from yellow, to be fair. He just spammed 10 billion phoenixes. And he's going to take the dub right at the end. Oh my god. All right, welcome to a round two, boys. Well, we're picking up a sandworm on the unit drop, which has come straight away. Dude, just the opportune time. Feeling pretty good. Okay, let's just slam a sandworm right here, I guess. And then just double drop of stangs, I also guess. <laughs> just plonk some in here, plonk some in here. I think that should about be good. Um, do I just want to one-shot the crawlers as they come in here? Probably do. Let's just get him dead, let the sandworm get in, do what it's gotta do. Um, thinking honestly, you've just taken the sandworm here to here. Actually, let's do a little bit of that. Okay, we're pulling some supply specialists in this one. Let's see how it goes, man. Oh man, we got so close in that last game. God damn it. God damn it. We took the lead at just the wrong time. The mobile beacon not quite coming off for us. Just wasn't to be, man. And here we go. Down it goes, missile comes out, claps all of the cheeks. Very, very good. Okay. Did anybody else score the sandworm? Of course, somebody went to double drop of sandworm. Uh, over there, same thing over here too. Okay. That's just like new unit syndrome, right? Oh my god, we got so goddamn annihilated on this side. At least the worm is going to go take care of the buildings for us though. Which is just fine by us, man. Oh my god. Provided this worm over here doesn't steal the building, surely we're gonna get it first. No way, dude! I can't believe this. Oh my god, dude, that's so unlucky, man. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dog. Blue takes the victory, takes that early lead. We're actually against Stangs with range here. This is a bit terrifying, honestly. Uh, subsidized crawler? No, it's not it, man. None of those are really that great. Um, I think just getting the second sandworm up could be worth a lot. Actually, ahead of upgrading the stang range, even. Armor enhancement. Let's do this, man. Do a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Slot this guy in right here. Armor enhancement, by the way, on the sandworms is deceptively insane, uh, as far as I can tell. Uh, it increases their max health by 50%, which is kind of insane when you compare it to something like armor enhancement on tanks or whatever, you know. It's a huge, huge hop-up. Oh, here we go. Almost forgot to start recording again there. God damn it. All right, sandworms. We're going to lose a whole bunch of stangs here until the sandworms pop up again and start tanking. And the sandworms should just take basically no damage. There it is. Very nice. Very good. As long as just like one stang from E. Oh god, they're gonna die. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose the stangs all in all. 
Okay, it sucks a little, but at least the sandworms are farming a crap load of experience. Getting some levels together. We're going to get all kinds of buildings here as well. Experimental unit absolutely clapped that guy's cheeks, so that's awesome. All in all, very, very nice. This thing is going to be dead long before it gets to us. And finally, we get a very, very juicy supply round. We've got one worm going for the middle over here, which is great. Then a bunch more uh, AI units to kill off over here too. Nice. This is a big money round. Really, really big money round. We needed that. After the rough start. 650 supply. Hell yeah, man. It's on. We're back. Levels on both of the worms. Very, very good. Advanced firepower control comes out. Also great. Definitely going to get both those levels purchased. Let's also grab this. Upgrades on the Maxman. I guess I'm going to keep the Maxman, right? I guess we actually keep the Maxman. And I do not mind going into some additional crawlers here as well. We've already got our flanks covered with missiles. I think that we're good to go. I think we're just fine here. Uh, this guy's got a whole lot of worms. He's also going for anti-air worms and replicating worms. Um, let's just take the stangs here, I guess, and do something like this and take them up towards middle. I think that's fine. Okay. So our Giga Chad Tank Worm's already on 153k HP. Very, very nice indeed. Their only job really is to tank and then later on give a Sandstorm as well. I just want to protect the Stangs behind them uh, as much as I possibly can. They're tanking all kinds of damage here. Very, very good. Oh, get the building dead, get the building dead. Oh my god. Wow, these little drive-by stangs actually doing a lot of work for us uh, going towards the middle right now. Very, very good. These are the guys with the uh, advanced firepower control as well, so they should be able to get this dead before the crawlers get here. As for where my worms have gone, actually... Don't oh, they're both going towards the middle. Okay. Oh, no, this is Red's worms. Nice. I gotta admit, the little uh, additional worms that get spawned don't seem to be that strong. I'm not super convinced by them. Oh, my God, it's a huge worm battle. So my worms are tankier, but he has the little summons. The yeah, replicating worms. Do we have what it takes? Worm pops out again. Big kill. Very, very good. Nice. Yeah, our worms got this, man. Oh, we clearly have the superior worms, man. Very clearly. Do we? No, we don't. This guy has 10,000 of them underground. Oh, my God. Okay, I, I, I kind of hope he takes the lead. Ugh. Yeah, crap. I guess not, huh? Okay. Steel balls, scorpions, wasps. Uh, the wasps can work in a bullet hell style build. So I guess we can throw them in there. Maybe we even just got like wasps in behind like so? Something like this. Or they could also watch the flanks a little more. I guess. They don't they don't have to start that close in, right? Um, let's definitely grab these upgrades. I think I will stick with the wasps, actually. Let's give them range for now. Uh, range on these guys or not? There's also a case to be made for just more stangs here. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're just going to do it. Let's just basically do a similar formation to what we did last game. Let's do that, and let's also grab the plus damage now. As for the mobile beacon, let's take some of the wasps, maybe. And just try and bum rush them in towards middle. Okay. Let's see what we got here, man. So instead of the typhoons and the mustangs being our sort of carry units in this game, We'll try it out with the wasps and the stangs instead. I think it's still very, very powerful. It can still work out. Oh, we're not going to get the middle building this time, though. But we should be able to get this one. I don't think this rhino has what it takes, man. I think it dies before it gets the kill, right? Ooh. Yep, just about. Okay. Yeah, the wasps are going to do a hell of a lot for us, man. 
The Wasp is going to do a lot for us. I feel like the Wasp might end up being our core carry unit, really, in this game. We've got some nerds over here on the left, but I kind of want to follow what's going on over on this side. Nice, the worm pops out just in time to tank the arc lights, which is great. Dive! Yes. Dude, honestly, the sandworm is a great tank. It's a great tank unit. And you don't have to build it to be anti-air because, of course, you've got the stangs to deal with that. And so I think if you've got, like, the sandstorm as well, as long as you've got enough range on the stangs, um, it could be a very, very effective, like, frontline unit with this kind of strat. I know, like, these are very high in my games. It's free-for-all, so it's a little bit of a fiesta, right? Any old kind of strategy can work, to be honest, but... Okay. Oh my god, get it dead. So our sandworms are coming behind here. They're going to be a little bit late to the party. Nice, but they will get it done. Very good. That's lots of levels for these guys. Ooh, it's all coming together, boys. It's all coming together. Okay. I think Elite Maxman on the Wasp would be great. Mm, only one of them got levels, but we do get laser sights, though. That's got to go on the Wasps, hasn't it? I think laser sight on it, just because of the Elite Maxman, they scale infinitely better. Let's do that. Let's get all the upgrades here, too. Okay, so we do all of that noise, and am I also going to just upgrade the worms? My god, I think I am. Okay, let's just, let's just power some levels into the worms here. Get plus defense. They're already at 253k health. This is what I mean, man. Armor enhancement on the worms is so good. It's actually, it's actually very, very excellent. Like, it's so cost efficient, man. So cost efficient. Um, I would have loved to have grabbed Sandstorm in this round. But realistically, I don't think I can afford to do that. I think I'm fine just to grab some more backline crawlers. Maybe just plunk them like here or something. Uh, some backline is that just going to like split in two and give us a bit of value that way. Okay. Let's begin, shall we? And here we go. Okay. So the stangs will chew through the fangs. It's going to take them a little while, though. Now the worms pop out. They've got a whole lot of tanking to do with. They're against a crazy amount of experimental maxmen here. But look at how much they're tanking, dude. They're actually just outlasting this, man. Oh my god. This is so durable, dude. Are you kidding me? And look at the victory points we get from that, dude. Because we just slapped the hell out of the experimental units so hard. I mean, my god. This is decimation, dude. These are oldest AI units over here as well, so we're gonna farm a crap load of supply off of those two. And then do we just kill everybody over here? Let's try let's try and watch both battlefronts uh, battlefronts at once. So we're just gonna buzzsaw our way through all the AI units on this side. That's just a stupid amount of supply coming in. Almost 700 supply at this stage. Absolutely stupid as hell. Nearly 700? Dude, what the hell is going on in this game? This is actually insane. Okay, so we've got some rival sandworms here, but our worm is just chanking everything. It just doesn't care, dude. I mean, oh my god, are you, like, are you kidding me? I think the sandstorm might actually be a downgrade, to be honest. Might be just sort of bad. I'm looking for use cases where the sand, uh, sandstorm could be good, but there's a lot of times where you can end up just trapping your own stangs. Which obviously wouldn't be great. Um... I mean, normally I go for the melting points here, but I'm thinking of just full send in this, man. I don't think I particularly need the melting points to kill giant units. I think that the wasps are going to get that handled. Let's just pick up the wraith and sell it. Big damage upgrade on the stangs. Keep these guys carrying. The wasps are just going to kill everything, apparently. Like, the wasps are just already insane. In fact, let's go into plus range here as well. Um, I guess we do this and go into underground maintenance on the... on the worms. I mean, the amount of health that's restoring per second now is just unbelievable, right? It's restoring like 40,000 health per second. It's restoring a fortress worth of health per second while underground, which is just sort of, I mean, it's just stupid. Um, plus attack. I kind of just want to go attack enhancement, man. Is that crazy? <laughs> is that stupid as hell? <laughs> Screw it. I'm going to do it, man. I'm going to do it. Uh... Drop those guys in there. I guess some more crawlers just here. The sort of split. Would also be okay. I think that that's it, you know. Okay. Here we go, man. This guy just has an army of worms on this side, man. 
Well, we have the superior technology. I mean, look at these sand... They just don't take any damage, man, from bullet fire. Oh, I, they do, but very, very little, you know? It's actually just the scorpions that are doing all the damage to them. Now, the scorpions are dead. They're basically just death immune. So, we're going to lose the building on this occasion. But now, when they emerge again, they're going to be full health. So, I don't think they really care. It's our one worm tanking the planet on this side now. Everything just melting, because honestly, the wasps are just doing so much damage. This guy, look at the healing on this worm, dude. It's just full health again. No problem. It's tanking so many marksmen. But every time it gets to dive, it's going to heal again. There we go again, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. It's just so insane. That is actually so insane. Okay, man. Worm tanks for bullet hell stangs. So you're covered against anti-air, that kind of thing. They have, like, similar move speeds, so they kind of keep up with each other in, like, a little death ball. No, we lost one of the worms on that side. Oh my god, is it just over? It's actually just over, dude. Wait, 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 what? I don't know how this works anymore. Okay. So, heavy armor. Let's just go for the heavy armor, I guess. Plunk it on this guy. Get a 700k health worm. Because why not? Uh, Sandstorm is up. Okay, so we've got the big experimental geeks to take care of now. I guess now is a good time to just push the anti-air button then. So the damage that these stangs are doing is just ungodly. Particularly these guys to our air units. It's just disgusting. Uh, upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. We do a little bit of that action. I mean, the maxmen are just there in case I need Electromag. Do I need Electromag? I mean, it wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt, right? Not that I can afford it. What are we even talking about? Maybe I just shield up. Just in case acid comes down. Now, these will die instantly anyway. I can't, I can't shield against it, can I? Not particularly anyway. Missiles? Building health? Hmm. Okay. I kind of got a bit... I've, I've just got a feeling that we're just going to absolutely eradicate these experimental units extremely e uh, easily. You know? I mean, let's see, right? I don't know what's going on over here. This guy's just going for a big chungus sandworm. But it's still just a noob compared to my sandworm, you know? Okay. The worms are tanking and healing. And as soon as we connect on these big guys, I'm expect. Oh my god, dude, they just melt instantly. Jesus, dude. Okay, my stangs- Oh, he's got fire on the ground, though, man. This is where the wasps are gonna come in. The wasps are our, by far our biggest counter, then, to this. Because the fire on the ground is gonna- Oh, absolutely eviscerate the stangs if it gets to connect on them. It's a huge worm battle, go uh, worm battle going on over here just now. This worm has got a burrow. He goes down. He heals. Yes! Dude, that tech is so insane, man. It's actually so ridiculous. Bro again, dude, live! Oh, no, he goes down. God damn it. Oh, man, we actually, we're actually going to lose pretty badly on this side, then. Okay, we're still going strong up on the top left, though. Sandworm is still full health over there, and that is the real big chungus uh, worm. Very good. Never mind, dude. The wasps come up clutch over here. We actually win on this side as well. That's kind of crazy. Ooh... Green sandworm might prove to be a problem. Dive! No! We lose our other worm, dude. God damn it. Okay, I mean, I think that we just hit the points cap anyway, right? Is 8.4k the points cap? So we just win? I wish free for all wouldn't do that, by the way. I feel like if somebody hits, like, a, a crazy lead, and people can then vote to uh, end the game early, like a vote cast comes up or something, that would be great. Um, But I feel like you can have massive swing rounds in free for all. You know? Like this, for example. So, like, I, I, I'm I, not super comfortable with the game ending early like this. But oh well. There you have it, boys. Hope you all did enjoy all the same. I know my teammates, and uh, sorry, my enemies in this one kind of capitulated a little bit and sort of let their strat work out. But it's a consistent second place finisher as far as I've seen, if MMR matters to you at all in free-for-all. Which, if it does, 
then it shouldn't. It means that you're playing the game wrong, okay? And one more time, if you want to help to support me and you enjoy the casts on this channel, the best possible way you can do that is, of course, by clicking on the promo link down below at the top of the video description and signing up to Raid Shadow Legends using my link. Doing so will kickstart your account with a bunch of free starting supplies and, most importantly, helps to support me to continue doing what I'm doing here on YouTube across all of my channels, including this one. So thanks, guys, for anybody who does decide to do that. For now, do enjoy the rest of your day, and I'm going to catch all of you all just a tad bit later, man.